Welcome back to Public Pictures Theater. I'm Jake Swagger and I'm here with Marcus Ross. And tonight it's my pleasure to present to you a selection of sensational slapstick shorts of spectacular silliness starring the Three Stooges, a group I hold very close to my heart. In case you haven't heard by now, the Three Stooges were a vaudeville and comedy team who were active in the 1920s all the way to 1970s. The trio started out as Mo, Shep, and Larry, with Shep eventually taking a break in 1932 and being replaced by Curly. He returned in 1946 after Curly had a massive stroke, which unfortunately ended his career. Three of the Stooges, Mo, Curly, and Shep, were real life brothers. Of all the Stooges short films out there, only four of them have lapsed into the public domain due to a failure to renew the copyrights, and tonight we'll be showing you all of them. The first, Sing a Song of Six Pants, shows the Stooges as tailors who attempt to capture a bank robber in order to claim reward money to pay off their debts. The second, Malice in the Palace, features the trio as waiters in a restaurant who bite off a little more than they can chew. The third, The Brightless Groom, has the gang attempt to marry off Shep in eight hours so he can inherit a fortune with hilarious results. And the last short, my personal favorite, is called Disorder in the Court, where Mo, Larry, and Curly try and absolve a woman of murder charges by doing literally just about everything one should not do in a courtroom setting. This is the only Stooges film in the public domain to feature Curly. So sit back, relax, and enjoy some classic physical comedy. And remember to stick around for our discussion at the end, where we may or may not have a pie fight. It's the Three Stooges, right here, right now, on Public Pictures Theater. Welcome back. Tonight, I'm joined by Dr. Start, Jake, and Marcus to discuss all the silliness we just saw. So, what was your favorite short and why? I, I think Disorder in the Court will always be one of my favorites. It's, um, it, it had the physical comedy, but it also has some really good, um, there's a lot of good dialogue, funny dialogue that I like. I've, watched, I've been watching these, these since I was about six years old. So that's, yeah, um, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. That was, that was probably my favorite. I grew up watching that one. We had like this VHS tape, and one of the things they put on were bits of disorder in the court. I mean, it's just so funny. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. putting his head in the letter press, yeah. and he sees, yeah. he's bonking the jurors on the head, yeah. chasing yeah. the parrot around. Yeah. It was really funny. My favorite part was always when he tells him to take the stand, yeah. and he's just like, I got it. Now what do I do with it? He just throws <laughs> yeah. it, and he's like, sit down! That was funny. That, that, was, that was actually, that was really funny. The, um, and then he was like, oh, and put your right hand on. And put your right hand. Take off your hat. <laughs> Raise your right hand. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that was Solemnly take, swear and take no, but I know all the words. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was just so much just. Yeah. Silliness. Like, just, oh, my gosh. Like, it, yeah. Silly. It was too silly for me. Was it that was, your favorite? It was, I like the one. I cannot remember the name of it, but the one with, um, with all the wives. And it was proposed. The Brightless Groom. The, that, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Was. Sure. yeah. That one that was really funny, was, too. I, I thought that was probably the funniest one yeah. of of the four, yeah, yeah. in my opinion. Uh, well, I like Shemp. I, I think Shemp gets a, a, he gets a, he doesn't get the credit he deserves. Like, yeah. Everybody likes Curly, but Shemp is his own. He's, yeah. he's his yeah. own stooge. He's uh, <laughs> he makes me laugh. He really the three stooges very, put this really two and then one over here. They they, <laughs> they alternate out. Yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah. Shemp actually also had a career. He he did other pictures. Yeah. He didn't just do the other, the other Stooges. Pretty that's what that's what they did. But Shemp did do pictures other than the Three Stooges shorts. Yeah, because like he was the original, and then he quit. Yep. And then he came back after yep. after Curly had a stroke. Yep. Yep. And then, yeah, yeah. But um, he was even. I saw there was one that he was even on, and it was a Curly was on. A Curly was sleeping on a train, and the, it was Shemp, Larry, and, and Mo, and they were chasing each other around on a train, and they pulled a beer down, and it was Curly. I forget what episode it was. So they, and too bad we can't show that here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Three Stooges are known for their unique brand of slapstick comedy, which was very popular in the early 1900s. Do you think that there's still a market for this kind of humor today? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I thought it was funny. I, I, I think that kind of stuff is funny, so I'd absolutely say yeah. I As, think yeah, I think oh, they no. I, th I think they're limited to shorts though. One of the things that Mo and I know a little bit of the history. Mo always 
compared himself or wanted to compare himself, he could compare whoever he wanted, but to the Marx Brothers, which the Marx Brothers could carry a feature picture, two-hour picture, and they because they had this, the dialogue that could go along with it. But I think the Stooges are limited to a short format, to a 20-minute. Beyond that, the yeah. smashing each other's heads in and um, physical comedy gets a kind of gets boring after a while. Yeah. But it's funny for 20 mm -hmm. minutes. It's yeah, I mean, I think I think I think that you make a great point. I think they they would have a market if they could come up with a bit more dialogue. While mm -hmm. I was watching them, I kind of thought of a lot of the Cartoon Network shows that are coming back, like. Not the really good ones that have like real story plots, but like <laughs> how they like revamped Teen Titans, Scooby Doo, mm -hmm. Powerpuff Girls, where like they don't, they're not actually solving problems or fighting crime or doing anything. They're just doing, I guess, dumb stuff, yeah. <laughs> really. Yeah. So I mean, there as like that just kind of proves like there is some kind of market for that if you're willing to. I guess add more dialogue and make it just a little bit more interactive on an intellectual mm -hmm. level so that way when it does you know when you know something funny happens it like it kind of triggers you to laugh versus just like constant stuff happening every yeah, single yeah. second and not really a whole lot of dialogue so they're really funny if you if yeah. you're having a bad day oh you know, yeah you just put them on oh yeah just, oh yeah it, it, it seems to help I mean, it's good. <laughs> yeah. Well, building off of that last question, what trio of actors would you want to see playing the Three Stooges? Mm. <sighs> so if we could, we could pick anyone. Huh. Well, let's see. <laughs> three of them were brothers, so I don't know. Could we get like the three Hemsworth brothers to be the the Three Stooges? I think that would be, be funny because they're like these big burly dudes, and they'd just be being dumb. I, I'd enjoy I'd enjoy watching that, like Thor. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, absolutely. That would be funny. Yeah. It would be really hard because they are what they are. It's, I mean, there have been trios, the Marx Brothers and the Ritz Brothers. There have been, but I don't know. That's and what they, they were known for, Three too. They made Three Stooges biography pictures, and yeah. they all, of course, look like the Three Stooges, but this doesn't seem to work. It, it was, it's like the Three Stooges were known for being Stooges, so it's like basically take any three well-known actors already mm -hmm. and make them act like idiots. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I mean, it would be funny to watch, but it's like, I don't know if you could build a career off of that. Oh, no. You have, you have to... Have, that would just have to be something else that you were doing, I think. The, the, the first, um, I guess, kind of group of brothers that popped into my mind... Um, where the bald wins. The bald but the only person I can actually see doing anything like that is Alec. Yeah. So <laughs> that's I don't I don't know why. Like when you said that, I immediately jumped right to them. The bald wins. That would be funny. <laughs> would I'd be. enjoy watching yeah. Alec Baldwin do that. <laughs> the, the, the Stooges, you have to have like a leader. Mo was always yeah. the leader in mm -hmm. and on, on and off the set. I mean, he was he was the guy that wrote all that stuff. And Curly and Larry and Shemp were. They just were kind of along. They were funny, but yeah. Mo was the, he was he the big the producer show. along with Jules White. He ran the show. Do you think that, I mean, since we, we said that there's certainly a market for that type of, of humor in that comedy today, but would it be difficult to remake The Three Stooges? Is it just that we still love the original and that's, yeah. that's where Well, they it, made The Three Stooges see. movie a while ago and right. it bombed right. because yeah. they don't know how to do The Three Stooges. It's like, why, uh, why take a good thing Exactly. And try to emulate it now. Yeah. You know, you can't, you can't like bring bring them back. No. But you, there was a there was a biography done of them a couple of years ago, and it was very good. It was really good. It was it captured the, their frustration. It was just because um, they, they had such a hard time. They wanted to be feature film actors and make feature films, and they just could not break through that market. And they captured that. It was it was a good. It's a good watch. Yeah. Well, the, I think the the big thing about that, like you said earlier, how you know it's a completely different thing to try and fill you know fifteen twenty minutes versus mm -hmm. something that even ten even ten more minutes is uh, is I think a bit more difficult. And then, like I said, they made the movie, um, and that was just really bad. Mm -hmm. um, but you know you know you're trying to take something. Yes, you have multiple episodes of something that's, you know, 15, 20 minutes max, and you're trying to, I guess, hold on to the viewer's attention for the same amount of time. I mean, well, I guess in the same kind of way 
for a much, much longer amount of time mm -hmm. with 30 minutes, whether it's an hour, hour and 30, or even two hours. It, it's, I, so I think that is the big thing that I think that'd be the biggest problem as far as somebody trying to remake this movie yeah. or re remake them into a movie or redo the shows. Also, you know, the audience now is a lot different, a lot different than back then. It would then. be interesting to see the difference between someone who's never, uh, ever seen one of those episodes. I mean, you know, a six or seven year old kid plot them down and watch. I mean, I've seen them so many times. You've <laughs> seen them. So many times, it's we we want to see that. We want to see the original Curly and Mo and and Larry. What what do little kids do? That would be interesting. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I I watched the Three Stooges when I was young. You know, yeah, that's when I yeah. first saw them, and I thought they were hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for joining us to watching these Three Stooges shorts. If you're interested in seeing more public domain films, please visit our Public Pictures Theater channel on YouTube or watch IEP TV Sunday nights at 8 p.m. Thank you. <laughs>